hello everyone welcome to the first uh, video of uh, hacker rank solution series uh, we have already created some of the videos using python language and now today we are starting a new series which has a solution of hacker rank with c programming languages right so the first question which we are going to solve today is known as playing with characters it is a very popular question and you can see that it is the second question in the list of hacker rank solutions in c programming languages right so uh, first of all as always we'll start with uh, identifying the problem and seeing what we can do and how we can solve this particular problem right and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe to our channel right thank you so uh, starting over here let's start with reading this problem statement so you can see that they are saying that this challenge will help you learn how to take a character a string and a sentence as input and see right so first of all they are trying to teach us that how can you take character string and a sentence in c as an input right now to differentiate between all these three uh, types what is a character character is a single letter right so let's just say if you write a b c d all these are characters right while strings strings are combination of character or collection of character so let's just say if i write my name code as daily right so this is the collection of many characters together this is known as string now what is a sentence sentence is a collection of words right so i am solving hacker rank this is a sentence right now in c programming language the method of taking input of a character uh, a string and a sentence is a bit different right so that is what they are teaching in the next line right so what they are saying is to take a single character ch as an input you have to use c like this is the data type and then and ch basically it is used to take input as a character then just to print that character you just have to use uh, printf right then again uh, the piece of code prints ch right that is fine now you can take an input as a string so basically they are next teaching how to take input as a string right and then just uh, teaching us how to take input as a sentence also so all these three things are teaching us how to take input uh, of character a uh, string and a sentence next is input input formats right so basically input format is all about like what input they will be giving us right so as you all know they will be giving us three inputs that is what our written here is first of all they will give a character input then they will give a string input and then they will give a sentence input so all these three inputs are already mentioned over here right now let's just jump to the solution part of this question or the coding part of this uh, question right so i'll just start typing my solution over here right also like if you want to see the solution or if you want to see the code that, that this will be available on our website also right so first of all as you all know i'll have to take an input right so the first input which i'll be taking is the character input right so to uh, take a character input first you have to define a variable for that so i am just defining a variable ch for taking character input then i am creating a string variable or basically i'll you will say is a string array uh, where I am taking character s24 then I am taking character t100 basically this will be used to take an input as sentence now you can see that I have taken 24 because I am figuring it out that the max uh, my string would be of 24th length right and my sentence would be not more than 100 characters so that's why I have given a limit of 24 and 100 over here right also they might have given us limit no they have not given us limit but mostly like it is given over here only but uh, not in this particular program right so we have taken three uh, variables as in uh, basically we have created three variables now what we'll do is we'll create user input so in uh, c programming language we have to use scanf a function which is used to take uh, inputs right so first of all i'll take a character input and i'll write and ch this is how you take character input then i'll have to take an another input which will be scan f this will be a string input so i'll write s and 
or I can just write s also over here, right? Then I have to take a variable or a function get character. Then I'll again take an input scanf ampersand slash n bracket closed basically we are defining what what all uh, things you can insert inside this particular sentence right then uh, the variable of sentence is t so i have written that also now we have taken the user inputs over here all the three users input are here like character input is over here string input is here and then we have a sentence input also next is we just have to print it one by one so first of all i write printf as you can see already they have pre-filled it for me i don't need this so i'll just remove it for uh first character input you all know we have to write percentile c also i'm writing slash n just to create a new line also they all all these things are mentioned over here so you don't have to worry about it i'm also just writing over here i'm just following the instruction they have given right so first of all uh, for character you just have to write ch then again printf yeah again out of filling it i don't need this so i'll write percentage s slash n just for a new line and then s and finally printf again i have to write all these things they have given over here to print a uh, a sentence so i'll just write s tell s slash n and then i just have to write t because t was the variable where i have stored where i have stored sentence right so this is done i think now let's just run it uh sorry i have just done a mistake over here it's printf okay now let's run this code and see what is the output we are getting so you can see all the test cases are working over here so i'll just submit the code right and so this is the first solution of uh, this particular program